Uh, Abdul Hamid says, are the martyrs living in Jannah or are they alive in the Barzakh and visit Jannah and come back to their graves? Now, generally speaking, we mean by martyrs are those who were killed on the battlefield while fighting the enemies of Islam. Yet there are different types of martyrs, as mentioned in the hadith where the Prophet told us والسلام, that the person who dies through plague is a martyr, the one who a building collapses on his head, the one who dies in a burning building, who drowns, a woman who gives birth, a person who dies with a tumor in his uh, a stomach, etc. So these are called martyrs. Now, they have a high status at the sight of Allah because of their patience, their tolerance, and because they did not complain. Rather, they embraced Allah's calamity upon them and Allah's testing, and they did what pleases Allah Azza wa Jal. So, Brother Abdul Hamid is asking, where are they? We know for sure, once you die and your soul departs this world, you move into a different phase. So we have three phases, this life, this world we live in, and then we have the barzakh, which is a, a transitional period between this life and the hereafter. And then after the barzakh is over, we have the hereafter, which is eternity. It's the day of judgment that uh, um, uh, uh, inaugurates it, that announces it, but then it is the hereafter, which has no end to it. So what is al-barzakh? This is a life or a phase that we do not have a lot of knowledge about. It is sufficient for us to know that the laws of physics, time, place, do not apply to this life. Unlike this world, we know you cannot walk on water and you cannot fly in air. This is something we know because there are rules governing this life. But in the barzakh, it's a whole different story. And we don't have enough knowledge of it. Our Prophet told us, والسلام, that on the miraculous night journey, he was with the Archangel Jibril, peace be upon him, and they uh, uh, were on this mule-like creature called Al-Buraq, and they passed by the grave of Moses, which was near a red hill. And the Prophet said, I saw him pray. And then seconds later, they reached Jerusalem. And then they ascended, they were ascended to the heavens. And he saw Moses in the fourth, uh, I think, or the sixth heaven. And then he came down to Jerusalem and he prayed, uh, uh, leading all the prophets and messengers of Allah Azza wa Jal in Jerusalem. And among them was Moses. So Moses was in three different places, peace be upon him. But this is Al-Barzakh. So coming back to your question, where are the martyrs living? After death, people differ according to their deeds, according to their status in Islam, according to uh, a, a number of factors. Some of them are in their graves. I'm talking about the soul because the life of Barzakh, you have the torment and the na'im, the blessing and favor of Allah Azza wa Jal and the pleasures on the soul mainly with a little of connection to the body because the body is decaying, decomposing, but still there is a little of connection. So some are in their graves. Some are in green birds flying all over the Jannah. 
Some of them are in a river under a green dome at the gates of Jannah. Some of them have the ability to fly wherever they wish in paradise and to wander in paradise with a connection to their graves, of course. Some are swimming in a river of blood, and these are those who consume usury and deal with riba, bankers, financial uh, f f uh, uh, people of finance who make riba halal. This is the punishment. Others are in a furnace of fire where fire is ignited from underneath them and they fly until they reach the top of it and then it comes down and they fall down again and this punishment is continuous. So there are so many different scenarios depending on the people. But generally speaking, yes, the martyrs, they wander in Jannah. Some of them are hanged in a, a lantern like in, in the trees of Jannah, getting their food and drinks and seeing the Jannah, but not fully being admitted to it because this happens only on the day of judgment and so on. So therefore, it's a phase that we do not have a lot of information about, but we know for certain that they are uh, alive at the side of Allah and they're enjoying this life of Barzakh. Eyes for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah. And tha is for thawab, a reward.